returned from running to the post office to open up the new Sword and Laser books. We got five of them, I think, today. Uh, ooh, hard back to bring us right off. Here we go. They always fold the press release over the top of it so they don't get the crazy cool reveal until I let it slowly fall off. The Promise of the Child, Volume 1 of the Amaranthine Spectrum by Tom Toner. This one's coming out September 22nd. That means it's in the bookstores now! Go get it! Uh, and it is jacket illustration by Patrick Knowles, jacket design by Claudia Noble. It is the 14th century. <clears throat> in the radically advanced post-human worlds of the Amaranth and Firmament, there is a contender to the immortal throne, Aaron the Long Life, the Pretender, a man who is not quite a man. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by that one paragraph. Promise of the Child by Tom Toner. Well done. Good paragraph. This one's small. Maybe this one isn't a book. Who knows? We just open up everything. Maybe it's tax papers. Could it be tax papers? I don't know why I can't open this stuff up very well today. Aha. No, it's not tax papers. It is You're a Vampire That Sucks, A Survival Guide by Count Dominic Dice. Wow, it's a it's a how-to book, cover designed by David Walker. Uh, yeah, so... You know, vampires, zombies, werewolves, other monsters are at large. And chances are you've come across books like the Zombie Survival Guide, which show you how to keep these nasties at bay using your wit. But let's face it, sometimes you aren't so lucky. Sometimes you take a wrong turn, find yourself running just a little too slowly to avoid that bloodthirsty vampire. Uh, so you probably need this book, which is coming out October 13th. You're a vampire. That sucks. Book three of five. By the way, you may have noticed I'm in a different location. Brian Brushwood is at my house, and so we're all set up for night attack tonight. The Last Exodus by Paul Tassi. Uh, what would happen if you threw Independence Day, The Walking Dead, and Guardians of the Galaxy into a blender? It probably looks something like The Last Exodus. Well, that, that Blake Harris, author of Console Wars, you just convinced me about The Last Exodus. The Earthborn Trilogy, book one, already out, went on sale September 8th. Uh, so check that out. Cover designed by Paul, oh, by Paul Tassi, uh, Victoria Moderna, and Federico Piatti. Did his own cover design. Look at that guy. Or at least helped with it. Book number four of five. We are trundling along here. A Daughter of No Nation, A.M. Della Monica. Uh, this is advanced print. So uh, you don't get much of a cover here. Uh, second novel in the Storm Rack series, following a young woman's odyssey into a fantastical age of Sail World. It's a tour book coming out December 1st. A Daughter of No Nation. High adventure with magical spells and tall sailing ships. Nice. Kind of like that idea. All right, last one. It's a tiny one. Maybe it's not a book. Maybe it's a cassette or an eight track. What could it be? Oh, look, it's a book. Song of a Dead Dreamer and Grimskied. Thomas Ligotti. This is from Penguin. Thank you, Penguin. Uh, fans of horror and weird fiction rejoice in Songs of a Dead Dreamer and Grim Scribe. Penguin Classics combines in one volume the first two story collections by the best kept secret in contemporary horror fiction with a new forward by Jeff Vandermeer. We read him on Sword and Laser. Uh, he won the award, World Fantasy Award for a Southern Reach trilogy. So there you go. This one, is it out already? Is it just already there? This looks like a finished book. Oh yeah, October 6th. Gotta wait just a little longer for this one. Um, but a classic, Thomas Ligotti. There you go, horror fans. You got some books. Let me know what you want to hear from me. What do you want to? What do you want to see on the book call? Do you want to keep seeing the books? Do you want to keep hearing the descriptions? I'm trying to keep it entertaining and informative at the same time. So let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you later.